family don't snitch on each other. They don't kill each other. They don't turn on each other. None of us want to shit, all right, Uncle Tom? Now, I love you, but I'll put a bullet in you to stop you from killing my mother. Tommy's loyalty when it comes to those he considers family or close allies has always been strong. He takes care of people that are loyal and stay true to their word. Like always, he used to say to a younger Tariq St. Patrick, he'll always be there for him. That was until the moment he popped ghost and the moment Tasha killed Lakeisha and name dropped him as a kingpin in court, there was a target on her back. So one thing you can guarantee when it comes to Tommy Egan is, if there's unfinished business, you better keep your head on a swivel, because he will definitely come. And there were quite a few shadows dating back to seasons 1 and 2 to tell us Tommy will eventually find Tasha. Now, in a recent interview, Joseph Sikora gave us some depth to his character's return. He confirmed the timeline of his return between Ghost and Force, and also gave us a further teaser when it comes to Force Season 2. So let's get straight into these quotes, which I have split into three sections. Tommy's return to Power Book 2 Ghost, the timeline, and then Power Book 4 Force. Now, on Tommy's return in Episode 9, Joseph Sikora said Tommy he doesn't forget, nor does he really forgive. I mean, he has a hard time with both of those things, but I feel Tommy's smart enough to know that usually forgetting means you gotta tie up these loose ends. Now, these loose ends that Joseph was speaking of for his character Tommy was the fact at the end of power he felt betrayed by Tasha because she killed his girlfriend Lakeisha. Tommy was out buying a ring for his fiancée with her son Cash, and when he came home, Lakeisha was lying in a pool of blood, and we saw Tommy slumping to his knees in one of the most heartbreaking scenes towards the end of power. Now, the woman who Tommy was about to propose to was dead, and Cash was also left without a mother. But Tommy did put two and two together, but he didn't pull the trigger on Tasha St. Patrick. He knew even though she deserved a bullet, her kids didn't deserve it. Why he later came back to finish the job in Power Book 2 Ghost was because Tasha name dropped him as a kingpin to the drug organization. And we all know Tommy, he lives and dies by the street code. Unfortunately for Tommy Egan, Tariq was three moves ahead and had Tasha moved to Witness Protection, where she remained since the end of Season 1. But Cooper Sacks leaking his location brought Tommy back in the famous old blue Mustang. Now this led to a showdown between Tariq and Tommy, where Tariq said he loves him but he will put a bullet in him, but a blow to the back of the head meant that he ended up in hospital, with Tasha and Tommy missing. Now in terms of where we are at this moment in time with the timeline, Tommy's return takes place not too long after four seasons one finale. As anybody knows, as soon as you get off 90 and turn on to 80, it's about 10 and a half hours straight shot to New York. So when Tommy got word of Tasha's whereabouts, he could have been like, I've got the news, I've got to do it now. Put it on pause, tell Diamond to keep his nose clean and stay on the straight and narrow to handle business and go do this. We understand what a priority the St. Patrick's are, whether it be to help them, need in them, love them or to kill them. I mean, they're Tommy's world. And I do have to agree, the St. Patrick's are definitely Tommy's world and they have been pretty much for his entire life. But we also have to remember, he does have a new life and a new family in Chicago and I'm sure he's keen to avoid the same happening to JP and DMAC. Tommy may be a lot of things like a drug dealing murderer, but one thing you can never take away from his character is, he has a big heart. He really does have a big heart for family and loved ones, just look how he came back to see Cash at the end of Go Season 1. So no matter what's happened in the past, I do think at some point Tariq will need Uncle Tommy's help in the future, and who knows, maybe even vice versa because this crossover between Ghost and Force is well and truly underway after Episode 9. So what does it mean for Force? This is what Joseph Sikora said on what they're bringing to the table in Force Season 2. I really wanted to bring a sense of what's happening to Tommy now. I'm really excited about his adventure. I think we can really get back to the grassroots. Leadership really has anchored us back to the world everybody's gonna love. People are gonna flip over season 2. Now I'm excited for season 2, the return of Gary Lennon and the new showrunner of Force is a game changer. And the cast and crew really have been speaking highly about season 2, saying it's gonna completely blow our minds. It's true to Chicago and they're really excited for us to see it from the cinematography to the storyline and with Gary Lennon on board, this show is what is the true continuation to power. The adult violence, sex, drugs, wars, with season 2 bringing in this Mexican cartel vibe with Miguel Garcia and Maria Garcia, there really is going to be a different feel and Tommy's going to have to change and adapt his ways because playing by his own rules won't always work in a, in a city like Chicago. But the words on the power streets are, as Joseph Sikora said, people are going to flip over season 2. So I really am expecting big things, major twists and turns and a hell of a lot of cancelling Christmas. So with that being said, that's the latest in terms of the timeline and some extra thoughts on Tommy's return and how we're in for a spectacular season of Force. But drop all your thoughts down below on Joseph Sikora's quotes, the timeline and his relationship with Tasha and Tariq St. Patrick. And as always, if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 2 Ghost and Power Universe related. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.